It happens sometimes after typhoid fever. Unless we remove the leg, the infection will keep spreading. No. Lucy. There must be another way. Well, there is one possible procedure. Break away. Don't be afraid, Joseph. God will take care of you. Let's ask him for help. Dear God. Alvin was my oldest brother. He was a hero in my eyes. I became concerned about the welfare of my soul, the designs of God concerning his plan of salvation were little understood in that day. Now God determined long before this world was who would be saved and who would not. There is nothing to do but search your heart to see if God has chosen you. Alvin? Yeah. Did you ever wonder what we need to do to be saved? You worry too much, little brother. But I need to know. Remember that seashell you found at Uncle Jesse's? Yeah. Well, some small creature made that shell, Joseph. Layer by layer until it finally outgrew it. Maybe God intends for us to outgrow ourselves, too. I just, I can't believe he'd only want to save a few of us. everything I know how to do. Just... It was a solemn and awful time. It gave me great cause to wonder, what is the purpose of our existence? To live, then die, and be no more? It seemed that God would surely reveal more on the subject. Perhaps God is trying to warn you, Joseph. Alvin is lost, but there is still hope for you. Forget these foolish notions. I can't. All my life, I have sought to understand the destiny of man. And line upon line, the Lord has revealed every doctrine and every principle pertaining to our salvation. Let's hurry. Are you coming, Father? I'll be along. What is it? What has happened? Mother, tonight, in the temple, 
I saw a vision of the celestial kingdom of God. The voice of the Lord revealed these words. All who die without a knowledge of this gospel, who would have received it, will be heirs of the kingdom of God. Mother, Alvin is not lost. Oh, Mother. The Lord told Malachi that he would send Elijah the prophet, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the children to the fathers. I was with my father in the moments before he died. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation. I heard the final words he spoke. Joseph, I see you. God heard and answered the prayer of a young boy. Look what has come because of it. The gospel of Jesus Christ in its fullness has been restored to the earth. It may seem to some a very bold doctrine, a power which can bind on earth and in heaven. God has restored that authority again. In the temple, we can receive all the ordinances of salvation, not only for ourselves, but for those who have died without them. First you walk, and then you run.